You alright guys, how are we doing? Clinicality here, and today I've got another player review for you all. This time, we're reviewing the inform Aaron Ramsey. Now he earned himself this inform for his goal and assist in Arsenal's 3-1 win over Sunderland last weekend. And I'm pretty excited about this card because I have used his inform on previous games and I really really enjoyed them. But anyway, this is the team that I used him in, mainly Premier League, there are a couple of Juve players in there. And the team actually was really a lot of fun to use. I also thought I'd show you the player instructions that I used on Ramsey. Now I kept most of them the same but I did tell him to stay forward. Now Inform Ramsey by default is a CDM. I'm obviously playing him at Cam and because he has high high work rates I didn't want him to get back and defend. So I put the stay forward defensive support instruction on him. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. As I say we did play 6 games with him. And he scored 9 goals and got 4 assists, which is really, really good. He cost us 75,000 coins, which is actually not bad. For an 83 inform from the Premier League, that's quite a decent price. Currently goes for about 80k on Xbox and 90k on PlayStation. Now his base stats, he has 70 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shooting, 72 defending, 81 passing and 78 physical. Onto the in-games, he's got 95 stamina. 83 reactions, 83 vision, 86 attacking positioning. He also has 70 strength, which is not too bad for a cam. Skill attributes now, he's got 84 ball control, 83 dribbling, 84 long passing, 80 long shots, 86 short passing, and 83 shot power. Loads of really good stats. He's got 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, high high work rates. He can play centre mid, right wing, or CDM. And on top of that, he has the engine, speciality, and the long shot taker trait. Now as we jump into the clips, obviously Ramsey is a cam and the main thing you look for in an attacking midfielder is the ability to pass the ball and Ramsey has that in an abundance. He is so, so good at passing. Short passing and long passing are really, really good. His short passing in particular is literally just perfect. Every pass is inch perfect. So, so good. He always finds his target. I didn't have to cross the ball all that often. Obviously he is in the midfield and I did have wide players so he's not going to be crossing very often. But every other aspect of his passing that I used was so so good. And the same goes for his shooting. His shooting is incredible. Obviously I told him to stay up the pitch so I want him to be attacking. And obviously that means he's got to be decent at shooting and he really is. His finishing in particular is just spot on. Whether it's finesse shots or drilled shots or chips or volleys. Even headers, I think he's, well, he scored a chipped header in one of these clips. And it was a bit lucky because the keeper just kind of stood there. But still, any type of finishing, he is so, so good at. And his long shots are also really, really good. He gets a lot of power behind him. I didn't actually attempt all that many long shots. However, the couple that I did try, one of them hit the post. And the other one tested the keeper pretty well. So, really quite impressed with his long shots. Now obviously you can have all of the shooting stats in the world, but if you're not in the right position, you're not going to be scoring any goals. Ramsey has perfect positioning to go with all of this. His positioning is so good, he always finds space, he's always open for a pass. Really, really easy to just play 1-2s with Ramsey and the rest of his teammates. He's always open, ready to receive the ball and make something happen. His positioning is so good and he gets into the box. If Lukaku makes an unselfish run, then Ramsey will bomb into the box get in that bit of space that's been created and get himself in a scoring opportunity. The other thing I love about his card is he's so persistent. He wins the ball high up the pitch, especially when the keepers throw it down the middle. He's good at winning those headers and getting us back on the ball. But he's also able to win tackles high up the pitch and get us straight back on the attack. So that's a really good point about him as well. His dribbling, his dribbling is again really, really nice. He does only have three star skill moves. So once again, if you are a skiller, then he's probably not the player for you because obviously he can't do most of the skill moves. But he's so good at just turning past players. He's so agile and he has these bursts of acceleration to create that tiny little bit of space to get the pass off or the shot. His dribbling overall just feels so nice. And I don't remember him taking a single bad touch in all six games that I played. And he also feels pretty strong as well. For a cam with 70 strength, he actually feels pretty strong. When players did get near him, like maybe 50% at the time, he was able to hang on to the ball which is really not too bad for an attacking mid. Now over the six games, he picked up an average match rating of 8.9. That is a really, really good match rating. And he really deserved that as well. He was so consistently good for us. 
Today I'm going to start off with his cons. The reason being, there are virtually none. The only thing I can find is the fact that he has 3 star skill moves. If you do like to skill then he's probably not the player for you. But other than that, every other aspect of his card is just so good. His passing, absolutely spot on. His dribbling is insane. His acceleration is really really nice. He's always in the right place at the right time. His positioning is great. He is persistent and on top of it all he can finish and his long shots are amazing. All in all I love this card. Obviously he does start as a CDM. I would 100% recommend you play him as a cam and use the player instructions to tell him to stay forward because this card suits the attacking role so so well. For me I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. He is my kind of player and all in all he was just so much fun to use. Now obviously he is a little bit more expensive than most of the players I've been reviewing recently. However 75k is still fairly cheap especially for a Premier League player so I would definitely recommend if you have the coins to go out pick this guy up try him out and I guarantee you will not be disappointed with what you get from him. As always if you do let me know down in the comments what you guys think of him and whether he was just as good for you as he was for me. Anyway if you enjoyed please drop a like on the video subscribe for more player reviews I'll see you in the next one take it easy.